For nearly two decades, the town of Southington has been preserving open space in order to maintain the natural resources and cultural heritage of our community. In fact, we've preserved over 550 acres of open space, which act as a buffer against development and helps lessen the demand on our municipal services and infrastructure. Our open space parcels really allow our residents to get to know the great outdoors and enjoy the natural surroundings. Many are good for bird watching, they're wildlife corridors, and some are just really great for hiking. Essentially, there are three ways in which we have funded the open space program. We've had three separate referendums passed by voters overwhelmingly. We also garner state grants to offset costs to our local taxpayers. Finally, and most importantly, many families in town have donated land to open space in order to preserve their family's heritage. I think it was between eight and 10 years ago, I believe that um, I decided to donate some swampland and woodland to, to the town. When I grew up in this town, it was a very rural town, and there were wonderful open fields and places to slide. And if we can preserve any portion of that in the future so that every place is not developed, that would be a wonderful thing. Our open space parcels are truly diverse. From the community gardens in downtown Southington to the historic train depot along the Linear Trail, and our many farms that proudly represent our town's agricultural history. This is Crescent Lake, one of the first properties that the town purchased back in the late 90s when it started its open space program. This is actually one of the greatest parcels that we have for open space because it offers so many different types of activities. We have hiking, we have boating, we have fishing, or picnicking here in beautiful grounds. Back in the 90s, it was very important that we had people that were concerned about keeping uh, the preservation of, of land such as this for future generations to enjoy. Well, we're standing on the Angelo Goat Island open space parcel. It's seven acres of land. We bought it, the town of Southington bought it in 2007. It's very important to the town of Southington because this is where the first permanent settlers coming from Italy settled. It's also very important because this is the area where the Italian community got together. The Angelo family had a communal oven that they set up in the morning, usually during the weekends, and everybody from the area would come and bring their baking supplies and use the oven for baking supplies. All the Angelo family wanted was maybe leave a couple of loaves of bread for them for the use of it. So those of us of Italian descent in Southington, this is a very important piece of property. at the Milldale Train Depot on Canal Street in Southington, Connecticut. This property was purchased by the town of Southington five and a half years ago, not only for its unique historical value, but for the proximity to the rails trails, also known as the Linear Trail in Southington. The building itself provides some history to those people coming in to the building so that they can realize the historic significance railways played as part of transportation in early Connecticut. The Open Space Initiative is key to enriching our community. From its environmental benefits to the limited use in our resources, it exemplifies the spirit and aesthetic of our community. It is also key to successfully balancing economic growth with preserving many of the intangibles that make Southington a desirable place to settle. <laughs>